Welcome to Anderson at Ipswich. I'm your host, Dudley Anderson, and this is my co-host. And I know who my name is, motherfucker. John, John Ipswich! John Ipswich, the drunken reviewer. Today we're having a look at the trailer for the movie Badland, directed by Francesco Lucente, starring Jamie Draven and Grace Fulton. Well, you pronounce the director's name so lovely. I uh, love your accent. Thank you. You're welcome. I was in Iraq. Did you kill a lot of people in Iraq? No. I tried to make it work. But it doesn't. Nothing works, Max. Nothing. You should have died over there. We would have been a lot better off. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. I prayed. God made them go away. Go make everything okay now. I just have to pray. One thing I want now is to keep breathing as long as I can. Mommy and Stevie and Ray are dead. They're not coming back. They're never coming back. You hear me? Are you coming back, Daddy? There ain't nothing out there. All this for nothing. We're doing all this for nothing. I tried pushing the clock back. So I'm telling you, don't try it, because it doesn't work. about me, Daddy? I love you. Is that enough? Well, this is uh, another movie about um, Iraq, the war in Iraq, but it deals with it indirectly. It doesn't show the actual war in Iraq, but a man who is trying to deal with um, the memories and the experience of having been in yeah, Iraq. Yeah, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head when you said another movie about Iraq. Because, I, I mean, it's poignant and, and, and is, is the fucking uh, thing it should be about. I'm starting to get the feeling like the market is being oversaturated with war movies and like the Iraq conflict, which I, I don't agree with at all, and I have really some serious issues about how, what this country did. And I feel like these Iraq movies are, 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 are turning into what like movies in the 80s were about Vietnam conflict. You know, it's like the, mm -hmm. it's like just overkill uh, of movies. I almost wonder if it's lost its relevance at, at this point. Like, mm. I mean, I watch this trailer and I see elements of Rambo in it. You know, I watch this trailer and I see elements of uh, Bug in it. And I watch this trailer and I even see elements of that movie Kevin Costner did where he kidnapped that kid and took him out into the field. I mean, visually, this trailer looks pretty That's heavy. That's interesting. Mm. But un unfortunately, I, from what I'm hearing, it sounds like the text is also very heavy and clumsy and forced and I don't know if the person that wrote this knew what they were doing. It's also, um, just as a side note, it's um, uh, way over two hours long. Um, really? I don't have the exact running time. It's I think it's about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. I mean, I, I hate to prejudge something before I've seen it. Unfortunately, like with the trailers that are out today, it's very easy to do. This trailer, I mean, this looks like a movie that should have a runtime of like, 89 minutes, 90 minutes or something, you know? The plot scene was confusing to me a bit. Um, we saw the leading character um, talking to his daughter about mommy and, and, and the two other sons that apparently were part of his family not coming back. And there was a lot of police activity. I mean, something incredibly tragic must have happened in the aftermath 
We well, you deduced a lot from that and, um, because, like, the fucking trailer to me was one gonna, note. Are they going to be able to justify it? was one that? note. The trailer was one note. I mean, this was a real boring trailer. It was Because the thing was is that it wasn't heavy in certain places. It was heavy all the way through. Yeah. It was heavy in the fucking cinematography, and it was heavy in, in the, the dialogue, dialogue, and it was heavy... Yeah, yeah, and it's like so, I don't need that much fucking weight, you know? right? That's probably why I wouldn't go see it because the way it looks like it's going to be two and a half hours of pure through heaviness and um, yeah. I don't know whoever edited this trailer emotionally to, draining. Like, the, the trailer drained me already. Emotionally. It really did, didn't it? It so, really did. It's just too much, people. It's too much. It's like, this kind of film. This trailer tells me that this film needs to be under 90 minutes. Yep. Like, it needs to be concise. Almost like a vignette. Yeah, and it's, the other thing is is that this fucking movie yep. takes the title Badland, and, and you know what? Badlands, Badlands, plural, that was a Terrence Malick film. Yep. Very, that was a genius director. Okay, he is a genius director, and, and, and they, what, do they take the title from him? Yeah. I you know? What the strange. fuck? Yep. Like, you know, come on. I don't know how much originality this movie really has from the title down. It's just a little, it's a little heavy. So, John, based on this trailer, um, I would definitely not go see it, and I think you're. I you're think gonna, I'd have a hard, I'd have a hard time going to see it unless there was just like a, a point in the movie industry when there was nothing but crap films like Semi Pro out. Then I might go see it because by default. Or you go get it on a movie rental service. Or once, yeah, once it's on DVD. Or I shoplift okay. it at my local Walmart. Uh, <laughs> we didn't hear that just now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching our program.